everyone, and welcome back to day 16 of our Inktober 2024 Beginner Tangles Challenge. I'm Yehudit Steinberg, and I'm a certified Zentangle teacher, and today we're exploring Indirella. This tangle is great for beginners and has a beautiful organic flow, almost like a school of fish moving in unison. It starts with a dot and then we add curved strokes that gradually increase in size, giving us a sense of movement. Let's begin with our materials. Today I'm using a Micron 01 and a Micron PN. I'm using a graphite Statler Mars Lumograph, a 2B. And I have a small Tortillon for blending. I'm using a two inch bijou tile. This is a Renaissance tile and I'm doing the entire uh, series in this Renaissance uh, tile. But maybe you don't have a Renaissance tile. And one of my students suggested the artist tile by Strathmore. This is a six by six. It's a Bristol vellum and it's a great, it's a great um, paper for practicing. And what she did was she um, took the two inch bijou and she was able to make um, nine or 10 of these little um, uh, two inch out of one sheet of the um, artist tile here, six by six. And it's a very economical way to, um, to do this project. So there are different ways. You don't have to have the materials I use. You don't need a micron pen. You basically need a fine liner and a uh, number two pencil and you're on your way. So let's start by taking a couple of deep breaths and becoming present. And while you're taking those breaths, getting settled in, think of something that you're grateful for today. Let that feeling ground you as we prepare to draw. Stretch your hands and your fingers, do a little finger yoga loosening them up and getting them ready before we start to draw. We start our, um, we start our drawing by showing you the step out. And here is the step out and we give you a chance to create a screenshot for your files. Step outs are so important because that's actually the essence of the Zentangle method is going through one elemental line at a time so that you can create the new pattern. Today's tangle is Cinderella. This tangle begins with a dot and builds up with curved strokes and that gradually get larger, giving the sense of movement. It's a perfect filler or texture pattern and has an organic feel that is really fun to draw. Here's the step out guide and make sure you got the screenshot. So our first step is we start with a dot and I'm going, what I'm doing is I'm going to start with in the center, I'm going to start with a dot and I'm going to uh, move and we're going to create this little design that I did with Indirella. So I've got my dot. I'm going to turn, going to turn my um, tile and create a C curve. And then 
I'm going to aura that. And make it larger and then make it smaller. I can take it and there's your first Indirilla. It's, th it's that easy. So I'm going to turn my tile and I'm going to add another dot. Don't think about it much because it's organic in the way it grows. Don't try to figure out how it's going to end up. This is a process and we're just taking it one line at a time and creating this pattern. So I'm going to come here Give it another little dot and build another one. So I can take it off in another little direction. Let yourself just um, express wherever it feels like putting another one. I, I think I'll start one here and take it out a little further. I want to give it a little bit of movement, so... Give it a little turn. I'm going to put a little one in the center because I have all that space. Just was a thought. Just a tiny little one. I could come over here and add another one. going to be shading. I think I'll leave it at that. Well, I like this one here. I'll turn it a little bit, see where, which way I you know, I, I think we'll have it like this. Now let's uh, take a look at what we've done here with some shading. And my shading is going to basically, is basically going to be on either side with a highlight down the middle. So let's do that now. Just a little bit. I always start with a little bit of graphite um, and I add more as I go. I'm just, I'm showing you the basic shading for this just to get you started. And you can practice different ways take a look online see and i also like the mosaic app see if you can find some other ways of inspiration that other tanglers have done with indirella i really like this tangle a lot now that i've added my shading i'm i'm headed for my tortillon 
And I basically, I'm just going to blend this a little bit towards the center to give it some rounding, leaving this part white. And when I finish with this, I'm going to add some white highlight a chalk. If you have a pencil, a, a white pencil, that'll work as well. But I'm going to go down the center of these with that white after I blend in a little this. Um, I think we're pretty blended here. Oh, blend this guy in a little. And then reach for my white and come down the center and this does really well on uh, Renaissance tan color tiles not as it doesn't show up as much on the white ones but when I have the tan I really like using this white chalk for some highlights and I should have my um white tortillon with me however i don't so when i look at this tortillon it has a lot of graphite and i don't necessarily want that graphite so i'm going to come in and use my sandpaper that i've done before um it's getting a little messy but i'll show you after i do it that I've cleaned that that um, tortillon so that I can go in and just blend a little bit, very lightly, this highlight. Trying not to get into the graphite, otherwise you end up with mud. So we now have our... Um, Inderella. I'll grab my 01 pen and I'll put my signature. Then I turn it over and I journal. This is Inktober. Twenty twenty four. This is day sixteen. And the tangle is Inderella. And it was deconstructed by Zentangle. I sign the back with my name. And I add the date that I did this tile. And there you have Inderella, day 16, Tango. So I wanted to show you the first 16 days of what we've been doing here in Inktober. These are the beginner tiles, and there is a video and a playlist here on the YouTube channel. So you can go to that playlist of Inktober 2024 and you will have all of the videos that we are doing this month. And we are on day 16. We're halfway through and you will have a beautiful collection of beginner tangles that you can start really using uh, and using them together and learn and practice the Zentangle method. Finally, take your completed tangle and share it on our Facebook group. Look for today's tangle post and add a picture of your drawing along with any comments or questions. I'd love to see how your Inderella is turning out. And before we wrap up, just a quick reminder, it's not too late to join our Sunday Mandala Challenge. You'll receive all of the great information that we have provided for you and um, the Sunday Zoom sessions 
and the support of a great group to create your own unique mandala. The registration link is in the comments below. And um, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this time relaxing and inspiring. I'll see you tomorrow for another mindful drawing session. Until then, remember, one stroke at a time. Bye for now.